Goldstrom is like a soup. Equal parts revenge. And sweet badassery. <laughs> Bulletstorm follows a team of black ops soldiers. <laughs> Dead Echo were the premier badasses of Motherfuck Town. The commanding general had manipulated and distorted them, using them for his own purposes. <laughs> Evil purposes. My manipulating hasn't even begun. Hey, what a dick that guy is, huh? That would be me. In Bulletstorm, even the heroes are ruthless. <laughs> They're imperfect as human beings and relatable. He plays Grayson Hunt. He's selfish, chauvinistic, egotistical, debaucherous. Oh yeah. Scumbag. As long as you're dead, I don't care what I am. Grayson Hunt's kind of a dick. I told you to rig these to blow, not check your goddamn email. But yet you love him at the same time. Christmas come early, boys. Ishi Sato. Royal Boy Scout, boring at a party. Robot head jerk ass. He's kind of like the Spock, you know? I honor my oath to serve you, despite your recklessness. A lot of ways, he's the heart of the team. Easy. Doc is a cyborg, uh, uh, you know, medical officer. And so what he does is if you're in the field and you lose a finger or, or, or a forearm, he's got cybernetics that he can instantly attach. Snap out of it! Trishka Novak. Vengeful. Bitter. Super badass motherfucking kick you in the face. Yeah. Ooga. Wow. Inside, she's got this really dark past. What? And then there's General Serrano. Unredeemable asshole, self-serving prick. You can tell he's on the breaking point of madness. The tears off my dick, you ugly butt fuckers! Grayson wants him dead. Then fire! Let's make Serrano wish he'd triple that bounty in a bid to get revenge on the general, they find themselves stranded on a planet populated by cannibalistic mutated marauders. Killing them is okay. And killing is definitely what your team does best. There are plenty of sort of conflicting motivations within the band as they are moving across this planet. God damn it, son of a bitch! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That son of a whore. Shut the fuck up! Our language is a little colorful. Namby pamby cocksucks. The suicidal limptic retards. I'll fuck you up. I will butcher you. Bulletstorm's focused on uh, more than anything else on returning the fun to first person shooters. Bulletstorm will kick you in the face with awesome. I'm gonna break this fucking camera! Normally when you play a first person shooter you see enemies and you want to run from them because they're scared because they're going to shoot you and you have to take cover. This is not that game. Oh, hells yes! You're dealing with mutants, you're dealing with crazy large guns, and you're dealing with the skill shot system. You have to look at one enemy and figure out what is the best way to maximize the amount of points I can get out of this guy using a combination of my weapons, my abilities, and the environment. It really forces you to think differently about how you play a shooter. You like that shit? Because our game is really about the skill shot system and skill points, Everything in our weapons is supporting you being kind of a creative madman. The Peacemaker Carbine. It's a gun that can unleash 100 bullets on your foes, liquefying them into a skeleton. It can also shoot them and take them out in a traditional manner. The Flail Gun. Basically two explosives attached between a chain and you throw it at somebody. You can wrap it around their neck, you can wrap it around their legs, kick them up in the air and then explode them. Oh, epic flail! The Bone Duster. Every game needs a shotgun, and this game has a four. Just One, two, three, four. Four barrel shotgun. Do I need to say anything else? Oh, actually smell bitter on the inside. The bouncer. Bounced into oblivion. Bouncer's like this giant cannonball launcher. You can throw out this ball that just barrels across the battlefield like a cannonball, but you can also unleash it as a repeated explosive device that will sit there and pound the ground like a pile driver. And the minigun. The minigun in Boltstorm is basically an extension of Grayson's penis. Suck it! What the fuck? Stay cool. Let's keep talking. We definitely want to make sure to save some of the best for last. We have a number of really cool and unique weapons that we're going to be hopefully talking about soon. You're kidding me. I am not. And fire! Multiplayer, multi, multiplayer. You work together, you kill together!
We have cooperative and competitive multiplayer. On the cooperative multiplayer side, we've got Anarchy. You and three of your buddies playing together to get team skill shots to go through a series of waves with progressing difficulty. There's the competitive element that you see in Echo Mode. We've got the best, juiciest moments of the single player campaign, and it's just all about you and the weapons and skill shots. And you compete with your friends on scoreboards to try to, you know, maintain dominance as far as who can get the most skill points on every echo. Score! There is always a moment where you realize you're in complete control of the battlefield. The moment you stop playing a shooter and start playing Bulletstorm.